coin break, and look what I have there. I have another nickel box I got all ready to go. Nickels and pennies are my favorite things to search through for coins. There's so many different things you can get in nickels. You can get buffalo nickels. You can get war nickels. You can get some lower minted nickels in here. There's just so much to go through in here. And I always love finding them, Canadians. There's just so much. So let's not waste any more time. Let's see if we have a circulated nickel box. So here we go. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver out here and let's break this seal open. And let's see if we got circulated nickels or not. There's a fresh box right there and they look circulated to me. There they are. So we're gonna start off here with number one. And we're, you know what we're gonna look for? I will bring you in the first find or roll 25 and uh, bring you back when I find something good. So stay tuned. All right, we're on roll five here and nothing major so far up till now. Just one 1959. I didn't show the video on that, but I collect anything older than uh, 59 and older. So that was the first one on the board, but we got a really old one right there. So we're gonna pull that one out. So you can tell there's no uh, D or S. So that's gonna be a Philadelphia. Let's flip that around, see what we get. And very nice. We're going to get a 1939 uh, Philadelphia, their second year of the uh, Jefferson Nichols. So we will take that. So our first our first major find is a very old one from the 30s, 1939. I don't think there's anything else major in here. That is 1990. That ain't going to count. So uh, everything else looks normal. So we'll keep on searching and bring you on the next find. All right, we're on roll number eight here, and we got one from the 50s here, but I pulled it over because it is a 55. Now, if that's a Philadelphia, that is a semi-key date. So let's flip it over and see if we got a 1955 Philadelphia or Denver. And we got a Denver, unfortunately. So uh, still another nice little find there. That is our second from the 50s. So I, hope, I was hopeful for a semi-key, but we got a regular one there. So uh, we'll keep on searching and bring you on the next find. And we're back on roll eight, and I should have just searched the whole roll because we got another find in here. So we got our first one from the 40s, 1947. So let's see if that is Philadelphia, Denver, or even a San Francisco. And it's a 1947 Philadelphia, nothing too special about it, but still nice. Nothing like finding uh, some nice nickels from the 40s. So now I got to check because I didn't check my first time around. And uh, I probably should have because there was actually more than one. So uh, I'm going through here right now and I'm not seeing anything else. So we'll keep on searching and bring you in on the next find. All right, we're on roll 12 here, and it looks like we got multiple finds here. So I thought I brought you in. On the right, first one's right there. I After a couple, I went in and I found it. We got 1947 there. Nice 1947 nickel. Again, our second one. Turn it over. It's another Philadelphia. 1947 Philadelphia. That is our second one of the box. And there was another one. And i uh, trying to figure out where I went with it. And there it is. It is another 1939. So let's flip that over and see if it is a uh, Denver, Philadelphia, or San Francisco. Of course, you want the Denver and San Francisco. And no, unfortunately, it is a Philadelphia. But for 1939, man, that sucker's in really good shape there. So uh, we we'll might have to check that to see if it upgrades my book for 1939 uh, Philadelphia there. So our second one in the 30s, second one in the 40s. So it's been kind of slow, but we're slowly getting there. So let's just check the rest of them out here. And just some older ones, but not too old. It's a 63. So we'll keep on searching and bring you in on the next find. All right, very next roll, roll 13. We got 1955. So I figure I show it and see if we come and get a Denver or a Philadelphia. We want that Philadelphia date. It is a semi key date. So I always stop for 1955. So let's flip it over and see what we get. And no, it is a Denver. So that is unfortunate. 
We have a Denver. I'll just check for any DDRs in the back. It doesn't look like it. So that's our night, second 1955. Uh, so let's check anything else out here. See if there's anything else in this roll. There's a 64. Uh, let's see what that is. 89, that ain't gonna help anyone. So 74, uh, some older ones there, 96, 82. And doesn't look like it, but that is our third from the 50s. We'll keep on searching and bring you in on the next five. All right, we're on roll 15, and uh, I saw one from the 40s, so I thought I'd bring you in on it. Uh, let's see, it's starting, the box is starting to heat up with the older stuff, so it started out really slow, but then it picked up. There it is. 1940, so there we go, uh, early 40s. Well, let's see if that's Philadelphia, Denver, San Francisco. Yeah, that's a good old Philadelphia from 1940. It's still common, but still they didn't make as many in the 40s and 50s, so I always pull those out. Now, let's see if we got anything else in here since we got you a lot. And there's a 1948 right there, so very nice. And if that's a San Francisco, we got a semi-key day. Let's flip it over. And no, it's just a 1948 Philadelphia. We'll still take that. So there was two in this one. Though, um, ooh, that's a nasty one. And that is, uh, I can't even read that. I think it's 66, 86. So even worse. So uh, looking for those older ones. It doesn't look like, I think those were the only two. So we'll keep on searching and bring you on the next find. All right, roll 21, and we finally got a Canadian. We just started this roll, did a couple in, and we got our first Canadian right there, 1985. A couple years off, 100% nickel. Uh, as you recall, they make they made uh, the Canadian nickels 100% copper from 82 and older. A couple years off, but we got our first Canadian nickel. So there we go. That is nice find from my friends up north of Canada. I appreciate your Canadian nickels. Now, I didn't really see anything else out of here. A lot of 64s, but nothing in the 50s or older. So we'll keep on searching and bring you on the next find. All right, we are back live with 25 live. So we, we opened up the 25th row live. And so far, this has been, I would say, your typical average box. Um, I've received so far six from the 50s, uh, four from the 40s, two from the 30s, which is very nice, two 1939 Philadelphias, one Canadian nickel. Unfortunately, it's not 100% nickel, so, but not too bad, I would say. Uh, this is, would be your typical average box. No more nickels, no varieties, no buffaloes. Oh, let's see what's in this one here. Let's see if we can pull something get some point value on my board here so let's see here i'm not seeing anything off the top of my head uh let's see it looks like an older one but it is 83 that ain't gonna help us oh uh, just not just been kind of a ho-hum box you know nothing to get too excited about but we're only halfway through i'm not seeing any uh, finds in here from the 50s or 40s. There's some in there in the 70s. And there's a 64. But I am not seeing any from the 50s or 40s or 30s. So we'll keep on searching and bring you back in on the next find. All right. Very next roll. Roll 26. I saw one from 1955. You know I got to call it up there and bring it and see if there is a, it is a Philadelphia or a Denver if it is a Philadelphia, you know it is a semi-key date. So let's flip it over. And no, it is a Denver. I can see the D on the end over there. So unfortunately, that is just a regular 1955 Denver. So let's kind of go over through the rest of the roll here. I see some older quarters there. There is another one from 1950s. It's chewed up. What we got, it looks like 58. It is a 58, I'm gonna flip it over here. It is a 58 Philadelphia. Unfortunately, that is chewed up, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, there looks like another older one right there. 1940, so there's quite a few older ones in this roll there. 1940, let's flip it around, see if, what, uh, if it is Philadelphia, Denver, or San Francisco. And it is a Philadelphia, so another one from 1940. 
So we got two from the 50s, one from the 40s. Uh, that is an 88. That ain't going to help us at all. It looks like that will probably do it. Now that's an 85, a 78. Let's see what that one is there. Flip that over. That is a 1987. So uh, multiple finds in this one. Fortunately, not the semi-key day, but still three more to go on to the board. And we'll keep on searching and bring you on the next find. All right, roll 29, and we got one from the 40s. We got one in 1940 there. Let's flip it around and see what we get. I figured I'd bring in on this one. It is a 1940 Philadelphia. That is our third from 1940 alone. So very nice. I always love finding ones from the 40s. You know, they're out there. You just don't see them very often. So I'll just go through this quick roll here. I'm not seeing anything that's popping up. Uh, that looks like a mighty old one, but it's 1970, just worn. Uh, that looks like it's it. I got 1940. Philadelphia, that's our third one from 1940. And our sixth one from the 40s. So I'll bring you on the next fine. All right, we're at roll 36. Haven't had anything in quite a while. Just a couple of uh, coins from the 50s, but we got one from the 40s there. I flipped it over and saw it. So this is going to be a Philadelphia from the 40s. Let's flip her over and see what year it is. It is 1948. So we got a nice another uh, nickel from the 40s. 48 Philadelphia. I'm just going to quick find, figure I've got you in here. Might as well go through. There's a 62 right there. And looks like that is it. So we will continue the search and bring you on the next find. All right, we're on roll 42 here. We got a couple of finds I thought I'd bring in here. Here's our first one. I got towards the end of the roll, and I saw a couple things. So here comes the first one, 1947 there. So there we go, 1947. Let's flip it around and see what we got. We got 1947 Philadelphia. That is our uh, eighth from the 70s. And I saw one from the 50s here. Let me just finish this roll up. I know I saw it. Uh, there's 19 right there, 1959. Last year, the 50s. I'll flip it over and see what we got. It's a more common one. It is a 59 Denver. So that makes it our 14th. I haven't shown all of them, but they were both in this roll. So I figured I'd show you. So there it is. So a couple little finds in this one. And we'll keep on searching and bring you in on the next find. All right, we're on roll 44, and I didn't see it till the end, but we got a Canadian nickel there. We got our friends up north from Canada. That's our second Canadian find. And let's flip it over. It's normal 1994, but we'll still take that. We love finding Canadian uh, nickels. Uh, there is the queen, not 100% nickel, but still from 1994. We'll just finish this off while we're in there. There's one from 1961, but that doesn't count. And uh, looks like that is it. So we'll keep on continuing searching until the next find. So very next roll, we got another Canadian. The Canadians have come out to play all of a sudden towards the end of these rolls here. So we got another one up front there with the queen right there. Let's flip it over and see what we get. We got 1987, still not 100% nickel, but another Canadian find. That is our third Canadian nickel. And let's just go through here and see if we got anything else good right off the top here. Oh, uh, that is 1982. That ain't going to help us at all. So it doesn't look like it. Not seeing anything super old. So we'll keep on searching and bring you on the next find. All right, roll 46 here. And I flipped that nickel over, and it is one from the 40s. So this one's Philadelphia. And it's definitely worn. So let's flip it over and see what year it is from the 40s. We got 1946 Philadelphia. Very nice. We got our uh, ninth one from the 40s, so a decent amount of 40s. I'm just going to go through here just in case I missed anything. Uh, I haven't searched through all this yet. Just That was kind of towards the end there, so it looks like that is it. So we'll keep on searching and bring you on the next find. All right, we're on roll 48, man. It just seems like to be heating up here towards the end here. We keep getting all the finds, so I'm uh, not uh, disappointed in that at all. I uh, got through most of this roll here. We got one right there, 1946 there. It's a little worn and used. Been passed around 8 million times. Let's see if, what uh, mintage that is. And no mint mark, so that is uh, Philadelphia. 1946 Philadelphia. 
you know, one off the war nickel, you know, we have not found any war nickels yet, but you know, I think I'm hoping to see some stuff coming up here. So uh, hopefully we can find one in the last couple rolls, but if not, we'll bring you in on the next find or live at 50. So stay tuned. All right, we finally here, 50th roll. We opened the 50th live, 25th and 50th live here. So I would say this was an average box, nothing too exciting. We did get some finds, though, at least from the 40s and 50s. I actually got two from the 30s, so uh, we can't complain too much. It was a solid box with solid finds. Just no war nickels, buffaloes, or anything of the sort. We did get three Canadians, though. So let's take a peek here, see if anything pops up. And there it was, one right there. We, I told you the end of the box has been pretty hot. 1940. Let's flip that over and see what mint mark. And there's not. So that's a 1940 Philadelphia. That makes our 11th one from the 40s, which if you get over 10, that's a pretty solid box. Uh, and there's one from 1954. So we got one from the 50s as well. Let's flip that over and see what mint mark that is. It is a 54 Philadelphia as well, which is not surprising considering I get more from Philadelphia than Denver. Except for stuff. Look at that, 1946. So we are coming up uh, with the fines here, 1946. Let's flip that over. And it looks like a 40 Phil 46 Philadelphia, just verifying it. Yep, 1946. So our third find in the box. So, man, this box, this roll is pretty good open up live. Oh, uh, other than that, let's keep going here. Oh, uh, uh, I don't see anything else it looks like. That's 85. Oh, uh, there's a chewed up 75. Oh, uh, I think that might be it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go through all these to see if there's any uh, variations, and I will bring you back with a quick summary of this box. So stay tuned. All right, we are back with a summary of that nickel box hunt, and I say overall we did not do too bad. I would say your typical box finds. Um, nothing too special, nothing to get too excited about, but still we didn't do too bad. First, we did find three Canadian nickels. Unfortunately, none of them were 82 and older, which would make it 100% nickel. That gives a little extra value. Nickel prices are pretty decent right now. I think they're going for eight bucks a pound or something like that, twice as much as copper. So nice uh, Canadians there. Check it against my album. Nothing looks too special there, pretty much worn. Um, we did find uh, 15 from the 50s. That's about average for me. Uh, I think the biggest date was actually 1955 uh, with uh, four of them. But unfortunately, none of them were Philadelphia. They're all Denver. Philadelphia is a semi-key date, but not the Denver. They made quite a bit of those, so we still got them right there. 15 all together right there. Uh, from the 40s, we did end up with 12, so that's actually pretty good. I average usually, if you go above 10, yeah, you do pretty good. I uh, actually surprisingly the most popular ones were 1940 um i believe they were all philadelphia which is not surprising as well yes they are all philadelphia and we did get two from the 30s which is awesome when i find stuff from the 30s both 39 philadelphias so they're not uh key day no semi key dates or key dates were found in this box. No war nickels, no buffalo nickels, but still, it was a very decent box. Um, we'll be adding this to my collection. So let me let me know what you guys think. You like it? Don't like it? I love searching nickels. So get another box and do another nickel box soon. So until next time, Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.